Hello everybody, welcome back to Topless Baker. We're in a new location. No, we're just in the corner of the kitchen. So today we're making a smoked spaghetti carbonara. Now I'm not gonna take a cigarette or something and put it in my carbonara. It's a really easy but like amazing twist to a carbonara that adds like a smokiness, which is fantastic and absolutely delicious. And we're gonna start with our spaghetti. So I've got a whole packet of spaghetti here. I'm gonna use about half, which is about 220 grams. I'm gonna put that in some salted boiling water and we're going to cook that until it's al dente so about eight minutes maybe you want to have a little bit of bite to it but we're going to start cooking some other stuff in the meantime now while our spaghetti cooks away we're going to get on with the other elements of the dish and carbonara is really simple it's just a few ingredients and there is one thing that you can't add and that's double cream okay so if anyone hands you a pot of double cream or whipping cream throw it on them pour them on it because you do not put double cream in a classic carbonara. So you wanna use about one egg per person, roughly, okay? So I've used 200 grams of pasta, 100 grams per person, two eggs, two people. Me and my cameraman are gonna have a delicious lunch, okay? And I'm gonna go in with Parmesan cheese, okay? I've got about 50 grams, 25 grams per person. And literally, I'm just gonna shave this into my eggs. And this is gonna add a really nice saltiness and obviously give that delicious cheesy flavor that you want with a carbonara. Now once you're done shaving in all of your Parmesan, a really important element to this dish is black pepper and it also pays homage to the history, okay? So basically carbonara used to be a dish that they made in Italy that used guanciale, which is the cheek of the pork and it was a really cheap kind of cut of meat. But when the coal miners would eat it, they would drop coal off their face into the spaghetti. So it would have these little specks of black all over it. So the reason you put black pepper in is because you're kind of paying homage to the coal miners that used to eat it. So you want to add a little bit of black pepper and then you want to whisk this together. And then you want to add a bit more, okay? This has a lot of black pepper in it. Obviously, if you don't like loads of black pepper, hold back a little bit, but Think of the coal miners who were once eating spaghetti carbonara and then they were just dropping coal in their food, okay? So we're gonna whisk this up until it almost comes into like a slurry, like that, okay? You want it to look like that, it looks a bit ugly, looks kind of curdled, but that's exactly what you're looking for. We're gonna stick that to one side, we're gonna give our pasta a few more minutes to cook, and then we're gonna get on with cooking our meat. So our pasta has about four minutes left, which is the perfect time to start cooking this, okay? Now, typically a carbonara uses guanciale, which is the cheek of the pig, but I could only get pancetta. Pancetta is a really good alternative. If you don't have pancetta, you could use smoked bacon. If you don't have smoked bacon, I don't know what you're gonna use. So you've got three alternatives to go for, okay? Now, in a pan, I've got a tiny bit of olive oil heating up. You don't want too much in there because this has got a lot of fat in it already, which is gonna release loads of juices. So you don't need to like smother this thing in oil, okay? I'm gonna wait for this to heat up and I'm gonna add in our meat until it is nice and golden brown. So this is sizzling away nicely, you can hear it dancing around the pan. You just wanna give it a stir, coat it in all of that olive oil, and literally you're just looking for it to have a nice, even golden brown color. Right, so bacon is sizzling hot and brown. I had a few splashes of oil on me. Dangerous game being topless bacon. And I'm gonna pour this into the pasta with all the oil, okay? Now this is really important because this is what is gonna cook our eggs. So the heat of the pasta the heat of the bacon is gonna cook that egg so you're not kind of eating raw eggs, okay? So literally what I'm gonna do is just coat this pasta in the bacon, in those oils, and we're just gonna cover it literally 30 seconds. Now at this point, we wanna add in our eggs, okay? And I've turned the heat off the pan. So we don't want this heated anymore because otherwise we're gonna add basically scrambled eggs, okay? Pour it all in there and then literally just kind of scrape this around, okay? And you're looking to get movement, okay? Because if you just let it sit there, you'll get a big pile of scrambled egg, which we don't want, okay? So stir this around and you'll see it will coat it. It will get really nice and kind of loose. And then literally that is it, okay? And then we can kind of twizzle this up, put it onto our plate, okay? 
Look at this, look at the glorious kind of shine to the pasta like that. Look at this dish. And then we need to add the final element, which is the smoke, which I told you about, which is not cigarettes. And it's this, this is the secret, okay? This is smoked salt. Smoked salt, you can get it at supermarkets here in England. And basically we're just gonna kind of coat the top just with a sprinkling of seasoning, okay? And then you are left with this delicious smoked spaghetti carbonara, which is classic and it looks beautiful on this plate. I got this plate for my birthday. Happy birthday, Topless Baker. It's not my birthday now, don't worry. And I'm gonna have a taste. Mm. That is authentic. Seriously, guys, have that and you'll feel like you're in Rome eating amazing Italian food. It is that delicious and it's classic and there's no double cream. This is a classic recipe. I'm not messing around. Okay, I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat the rest of this. I'll see you guys next week for more Topless Baker goodness. Don't forget to subscribe. Ciao!